This is Jim. Jim is a farmer. Every year he goes out to his field and throws out the seeds. Some of the seeds fall on the path. Because they can be easily seen, the birds come and eat them. Some of the seeds fall on rocky ground. They grow fast, but because they can't really grow deep roots, they aren't able to get enough water from the ground. So, they wither and die. Some of the seeds fall among the thorns. They aren't able to grow there either because the thorns take away the space they need to grow. But the rest of the seeds fall on good soil. These seeds are able to grow into big, healthy plants. Jim is able to get a lot of good crops from these seeds. Jesus compares the seeds in this story with the Word of God. Some people hear God's words and forget them right away. These are like the seeds that get eaten by the birds. Some people hear God's words and live according to them for a while. But over time, they slowly forget what they've learned and get back to their old way of living. These are like the seeds that fall on rocky ground. Some people hear God's words, but because they have so many worries, they don't even take the time to think about what He has said. These are like the seeds that fell among the thorns. But the people that hear God's words and live according to them are like the seeds that fall on good soil and grow to bear large crops. Does anyone put a lamp under a bucket? No. You put it in a place where it gives light to the whole room. That's how your light is supposed to shine for everyone to see. By your good deeds, they will get to know your Father in heaven. One day, Jesus was teaching a group of people about God. His mother and his brothers came to the house that he was in. They had heard about the things he was doing and saying. They thought he was going crazy and they wanted to stop him. One of the friends of Jesus, who he called disciples, informed Jesus that his siblings and his mother were waiting outside. Jesus responded, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Aren't they the people who listen to God's words and follow him? You are my family because you trust in God. One day, Jesus crossed a lake with his friends, the disciples. While they were crossing, a storm appeared. It was so heavy that the disciples were afraid of the boat sinking. Jesus did not know what was happening because he had fallen asleep before the storm appeared. The disciples woke him shouting, Jesus, save us! We're sinking! Jesus got up and turn towards the storm. Be calm. Immediately, the storm stopped and the waves disappeared. Jesus asked his disciples, why are you afraid? Are you still not trusting God to protect you? But they were so confused and stunned asking each other, who is this Jesus? Even in the wind and the waves listen to him and obey his command. Jesus arrived at one end of a lake with his friends, the disciples. A man that was occupied by an evil spirit came running towards them. He was wild, ran around naked, and was living in a graveyard. Oftentimes people in the area had tried to put him in chains, but he would always break out with his bare hands and escape. Jesus told the demons inside this man to leave, for he did not just have one demon, but many. The demons begged Jesus to not send them to hell. Close by, there was a herd of pigs, so they asked Jesus to send them to the pigs. Jesus heard them and cast them out of the man. The demons left the man and went into the pigs. The whole herd went insane and then jumped off of the cliff. All of the pigs died. The man, however, was free and sane and began talking with Jesus. When the people living in the village heard what had just happened, they asked Jesus to leave. To the freed man, Jesus said, Stay here and tell everyone what has happened. Tell them that God has set you free. One day, a Jewish leader named Jairus came to Jesus and said, My daughter is sick and will die soon. Please help her. So Jesus went with him to his house. Lots of people went with them. 
While walking there, Jesus suddenly stopped and asked, Who has touched me? His friends, the disciples, were confused. Jesus, it's so crowded. It's normal that some of the people are touching you. But Jesus had felt power going out from him, so he asked again, Who has touched me? A woman came to him and said, I have been sick with bleeding for many years. I was sure that I could be healed by touching you, Jesus. Jesus was impressed. By your faith in me, you were healed. From that moment on, her bleeding stopped. While he was still talking to her, some friends of Jairus came and told him, Don't bother Jesus anymore. Your daughter is dead. Jesus heard that and encouraged Jairus, Do not give up. Trust in me. When they arrived at the house of Jairus, there were many people grieving for the girl. Jesus sent them all out so that he could be alone with Jairus, his wife, and his daughter. She is not dead, he explained. She is only sleeping. Then he took her hand and told her to get up. At that very moment, she opened her eyes and was alive again. Jairus and his wife were filled with joy because their daughter was alive.